Hello everyone. Today's story is called Tom and the Dragon and it's by Juliet McIver and Scott Tullock. There are lots of lovely rhyming words in this story so listen out for them. Can I go down for a play by the pier? Certainly, Tom, but I'll make it quite clear. There's a dragon that lives in the cave. Do you hear? So never go ever, no, never go near. His teeth are as big as a shark's pointed fin. He'll suggest you come in with a gluttonous grin. A grin that should scare you right out of your skin. So never go ever, no, never go in. The place is a mess. He'll be quick to confess, but the view nonetheless will be sure to impress. He'll politely suggest a quick game of chess, but never play, ever, nay, never say yes. Because if you do, it is plain, it is true, what's happened to others will happen to you. As soon as you beat him, a rage will ensue, and his fiery fury will barbecue you. Or perhaps he will win, though the chances are slim. And then he'll propose on a bit of a whim, an old-fashioned duel, full of vigour and vim. But never fight, ever, right? Never fight him. Because if you do, it need hardly be said. I'm sure that you know who will finish up dead. Far better to flatter him, saying instead, Is it true that in seconds you can bake a fine bread? You'll sit down to tea, fresh bread and a scone. Then he'll spread his great wings and say, Well, I'll be gone. If you like, there's a place to be seated upon. But never climb, ever mind, never climb on. Because if you do, when you're high off the ground, he'll say, open your eyes and have a look around. The height will astound, you'll fall off and drown. So never look, ever chook, never look down. Because if you do, when you fall from great height, the dragon will swoop down to save you all right. Or should I say, savour you, chomp, in one bite. He'll prove that my warnings were every bit right. So off scurried Tom, his head full of fears, the words of his mother still fresh in his ears, when there, right before him, the dragon appears, rearing and snorting, his eyes full of tears. A boy, shrieked the dragon, it's he who destroys. My mother did warn me, stay hidden, no noise. The slaying of dragons is one of their joys, she said. Never play, ever, nay, never with boys. The poor sobbing dragon went on with a choke. Mama said you would come with your sword and your cloak. She told me you'd slay me with one mighty stroke. And he lay on the ground in a dim cloud of smoke. Tom was struck speechless. He just stood and stared. The dragon peeped out at him soon as he dared, and lo, they find neither had need to be scared. Now they could play just as much as they cared. Thereafter, a wonderful friendship arose. From first light of day, they would play till the close, even their mothers 
could do no could no more oppose, and soon they began to say nervous hellos. Through all their adventures, now each of them knows a boy and a dragon should never be ever no never be foes.